Hey everyone, so excited today I'm bringing you guys a Trasher Treasure review. That's right, got another one for you. So, um, when I did my primer showdown, I did not have this primer. The primer and the Trasher Treasure review is on the NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer shade 684. This is by NYC. It says on the back, Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer can be worn alone or under your favorite NYC foundation to extend its wear. It minimizes skin imperfections, lines, and pores for a perfect complexion. Skin feels smooth, silky, and moisturized, enriched with vitamins to help protect from damaging effects of free radicals. Complexion looks luminous, natural, and fresh all day long. So, um, it's one fluid ounce of product. It runs, I believe, 357. I will put a link to the uh, Walmart because that's where I get mine. I will put the link there. Um, so let's get into it, right? Um, let's address the things that this says. Um, it says it minimizes skin perfect imperfections. Um, I didn't really notice that to be the case. Lines and pores. Um, it did do some pore refining. It looks a lot better at the beginning of the day than it does at the end of the day in regards to pores and lines. Um, it kind of settles a little bit as the day goes on. Um, it says uh, to wear it alone or under your favorite NYC foundation to extend its wear. I've worn it under everything but my NYC foundation at this point um, because I haven't worn my stick foundation. That's the only NYC foundation I have. Um, but I have worn it under my coverall, under the Fit Me, and it does help to extend the wear of your foundation. Um, let's see. Leaving your skin smooth, silky, and moisturized. I can say it does help with a moisturized feeling. Um, it is luminous. It has a sheen shimmer to it. I'm not sure. Some people, I've read reviews where they've said they, that it's straight up glitter. I didn't find glitter per se, but it is very shiny. I shake it really well before I put it on. Um, and it says it will help you look luminous, natural, and fresh all day long. It is a more luminous, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a more luminous primer, which I did like, uh, the fact that it's more luminous. My Holy Grail primer, you guys know, is my hard candy, and that is what I'm comparing this to mostly. Uh, because my hard candy, um, is, it runs $8. So I was looking for a more affordable option. I've also tried the wet n wild primer and I don't like it at all I don't think it does anything um, except maybe moisturize so this actually did do something um, it is definitely luminous it feels really nice on the skin as you guys know on my channel I have super sensitive skin didn't make me itch burn go into hives break out nothing it that is a wonderful thing as far as I'm concerned, at least in part. That's one wonderful thing about this. Um, it says it's for all skin types and it's dermatologically ch tested. Um, I didn't find too many horrible things about this, really. I mean, it's for the price is not bad. However, comparing it to my Holy Grail uh, Hard Candy, the Pore Envy Primer, um, it does not hold up the same. As I said, toward the end of the day, um, and I wore this for eight hours, 10 hours. I mean, I wore it for a number of hours. Um, and it doesn't, it kind of sinks into the pores, let your makeup kind of sink and your pores show more towards the end of the day and lines while my hard candy didn't, didn't do that. Um, it does hold up better than just straight aloe. Um, as you guys know, I use aloe as a primer on the daily just because aloe, you can buy a huge thing of it cheap and it acts as a very nice primer. Um, this does perform a little bit better than the aloe. It's more illuminating. If you don't like, number one, you if you do not want an illuminating primer, do not get this. This does give a glow to the skin. If you put it on alone, it makes your skin glow and it does look really pretty I think um, but I like a luminous I don't mind a luminous skin um, 
especially coming up in the winter, this is not a, a terrible thing to me anyway. Um, so is it worth the money? Sure. Uh, it's a good primer. I think it's, it's definitely for $3, you know, say $4 total. It's a good primer. It's not bad. Um, would I start buying this instead of my hard candy? No. I prefer my hard candy to this. Will I use this up? Absolutely. Um, I will get the rest of this used up. I do like it. Um, but if I have to choose, which I do, you know, we're all beauty on a budget, so what do you choose? In this case, I'm choosing the one I prefer over the one that's more affordable. Um, also, the hard candy comes in 1.5 ounces, so. Um, but yeah, trash your treasure? I say it's in between. This is a find. Um, it's that middle road. If you're on a, a super strict budget and you really can't spend too much more than say four or five dollars for your primer and you like an illuminating primer, bottom line you have to like that illumination, this is great. I totally would say go for it. If you've got a little more money in your budget and you don't really care for a super illuminating primer, you just want a nice primer that really fills in those pores and lines and stuff, this is not going to be, I mean, you're not probably not going to hate it, but you're not going to love it either. So I would just steer clear of it. So yeah, this is a find. So there's my Trash or Treasure review on this, the NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer. Not a bad, not a good. We've got a middle ground here, so we're in a find. Um, that's it for this Trash or Treasure review. If you like these, give them a thumbs up. Let's me know so I can keep making them. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, click subscribe. Join us on this crazy journey. And you guys, if you haven't already started following me, follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. I'm really active on all of those. I do have Facebook and I suck at being active on my Facebook. Just putting it out there. I suck at it. Nothing else I can say about it. Um, so yeah, follow me on all those so you can keep up with me, I can keep up with you, and we can go through this crazy thing called life. Yeah, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I think I already said this, click that box down below and subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, whenever you're getting the chance to watch this. I really appreciate you all. I am so excited that I looked today and see 57 of you guys. I love you all, 57 of us sharing this crazy world, crazy thing, this crazy journey, this crazy channel. Yeah, so I will catch you guys next time in the next video. Bye.